We've been in a very good run of form lately, and we've got some people scoring some goals. We'll take a look at the scores and today's matches right after the intro. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21. This is our journeyman save. We're on Club 3. This is Episode 4. We are at Leicester City in the Championship, not the Premier League. After last episode, uh, where did we leave off? Uh, we had a 5-1 win over Wickham. Uh, Robert Cernan with a hat trick. Watford, we beat 5-1. Cernan and Mikaton both got goals, but it was Jamie Romain, the left winger, that picked up the brace. Barnsley, a 3-1 win. Swindon, a 1-1 draw. Mikaton scored in the fifth minute. I thought this was going to be a blowout, and uh, it wasn't. <laughs> then Aston Villa, a 3-0 clean sheet. Played a pretty heavily rotated squad. We were in some... Uh, match congestion right there. And then a 6-2 dismantling of Wolves. Mikaton with the hat trick. Uh, Nagami, Gomez Santos, and Stigen Henson all with goals. We're going to take a look at the highlights for Norwich in just a second. And then we'll play Everton on camera. If you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And hit that notification bell. Daily Football Manager content here on my channel. Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Time in the United States. And 2 p.m. in the afternoon across the pond, London time. Let's get to the highlights. With the run of form that we've been on, we have climbed to the top of the table opening a little bit of a gap, not too much. But this one looked early like it was going to get away from us. We gave away the penalty in the 24th minute, one nothing to Norwich, and then it was Day slotting it inside. Some quick touching, and Menza places it between the keeper and the far post. Beautiful goal, and that equalized. It was a tight game. Over the top from Romain, Mikatin in, gets it past the keeper with some power. Keeper cannot keep it out and made it 2-1 in favor of Leicester. Mikatin in again, unselfish, squares it over to Gomez Santos. He pops it in with a left peg, 3-1. And then moments later, 93rd minute, Dropped back to Henson's into Day in the near the spot. He buries it. I think all the goals went in on that right side of the keeper. We did even have a missed penalty a few minutes later, uh, right before the final whistle. Uh, so four-one win there. Uh, Felix out one to three days. Mikaton stellar with two assists and a goal. I really like that with my strikers getting a little bit of both and some support and everything else. Let's take a look at the competition. We are top of the table. Uh, Everton has a game in hand for today, but we're currently five points up. This could give us an eight-point gap. That would be a huge step to automatic promotion this year, which would be great. Get you guys caught up on the stats, because every time I show it, you guys tell me you like it. Both Mikatin and Cernan on 14 goals. Romain with 13, which is astounding. Gomez Santos, 8. And Nagami with 7 from the midfield. Day, 6 from the midfield. And Menza has been scoring more recently. He's got 5 from that right wing position. So a lot of goals coming from all over the map. Romain up to 15 assists already on the season. Still nothing new on the transfer front. We've kind of let that go. We're just doing some scouting right now. In fact, I think I need to possibly tweak that back a little bit. Um, or maybe I'm thinking of my other save. I don't know. Anyway, we are doing well. Let's get to the match today. As you can see, Everton has made up that game in hand with a victory. 
both clubs, Leicester and Everton, sitting on one single defeat, as is Lincoln, but they have 10 draws. And there's only a two-point gap between the Foxes and Everton, five points between first and third place. But we do need a win or at least a draw today to maintain our lead. Taking a look at team selection, we're going to go with Rollinson in goal, Rush on the left wing, Felix on the right wing in the back line, McNeil and Lindorfo in the center backs, Nagami and Wheel in the mid, Romain and Mensa on the wings in the attacking half, Mikatin and Carpenter gets to start today. Cernan is still injured. Uh, he comes back to training in six days. And um, and we are having some issues with Zach Corbett. Uh, he wants to leave. I have transfer listed him, but nobody has come in for him. And he's 31 years old, and he wants to play more. And I'm like, you're not going to play more. Let's get to the match, see if we can keep our run going. I think we're at about 15 or 16 games unbeaten. So we were doing pretty good there. We're going to be in the blue, Everton in the teal, it appears. They go route one over the top. Galloway is on to it. Good defensive play, it appears. But they are right back on the attack here in the early going. Missed tackle by Romain. But the save by Rollinson as he chipped it into the box. Good stop. Some solid defense so far. It is troubling that they're getting that much. Oh, what a stab by Sapola. Sapola. Nogami tracks back, forces the cross from way outside. They get the header, but it goes wide of the mark. That is not a good sign there. And they're back on the attack again. My goodness. We couldn't get a clearance. Please don't do that, Mensa. Rollinson with a huge save. Wow, we need these guys to focus. Quinonez. And that one goes top bin from Galloway. His 17th of the season. And we find ourselves in a one nothing hole. And we have yet to put a shot on goal. We have yet to make a single shot even. That was a heck of a finish. Wow. All right, Lindorfo picks up an early yellow. We demand more. Not a lot happening. They're playing a flat 4-4-2. Oh, there's a nice pickup by Mikatin. Squares it over to Carpenter. He holds it up. No, poor effort. Both both of our guys go down in the box. Lindorfo tracks it back. And we're going to rebuild it from the goal. Rollinson up to central mid. Romain Wade, Wade loses it. A brilliant through ball, but a weak shot by Carpenter. Nice little touch by Mikatin. I wanted to give Carpenter a start just to, you know, just to see what he can do, but he is not impressing at this point. Felix is already tired. Let's encourage him, try to be a little more positive. They liked that. That drops us to second in the table. Oh, really quick touch from Mensa, but the keeper was right in the right spot. That, I don't know what I'm stuck on there. Sorry about that. Romaine is on a 6-3. Wade into the box, and there's the shot from Romaine, his 14th of the season. And that should raise that average a little bit. There's the equalizer, 42nd minute. I think we've got to be ecstatic at this point if we can get into the half 
and we come right back with a kickoff highlight. Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll be lucky and it'll turn into us. Nagami going forward. Oh, brilliant pass to Mikaton. And it trickles down the line before being cleared away from danger. We're up to five shots, four on target. <coughs> we are putting the XG up on the board, so better than nothing. And I think Wade just took a professional foul as he lost the ball. And there was a big tackle right at the edge of the six. Luckily, not a foul. And we do make it to the half at King Power 1 1. We'll be happy with that. I'm going to go hands on hips. We deserve to win this match. All right. Romaine's up to a 6.9. I'm just kind of glancing down. McNeil. McNeil has signed a new contract. I think I mentioned that. Uh, about a $75,000 a month pay raise, but that made him happy. We also made him captain. So hopefully he, uh, he is back on track and not wanting to leave. Mikatin looking for the ball, cleared out over the side for a throw. Tell you what, Carpenter is not doing well. So let's bring in Gomez Santos for him. And Felix is tiring, so let's bring on Parsons. And give him a good stretch. He was going to be our starter this year until we signed Felix. But Felix is uh, playing a lot of minutes. Let's encourage him again. 60th minute. So this is about where we would normally make our first substitution. There's Parsons getting past his man. Mensa needs to give him an outlet. Played back to Wade. There's a cross in, but Hunt gets to it. Quick throw on the counter. And McNeil misses the tackle, and they have carved his open here. There's a big tackle, but Safola's on it. Big, oh, Rollinson. I thought Rollinson knocked that in. I don't know if Galloway got a foot on that ball. We'll watch the replay on that one. So Galloway came in, got tackled by Rush. Oh, yeah. He just stuck a foot out. Great save by Rollinson, and he tried to get back on it. Oh, that is brutal. All right, we need to get a quick re response here. Parson into Mensa. There's a cross. Back across the goal, Jamie Romaine, his 15th, second of the match. He has kept us in this game single-handedly, I would think. And we are going to, we're going to praise them for the quick comeback. Oh, big play. Two goals for Romain. Did not see that coming. That gets us back up to the top of the table on 50 points. They are back on the attack again. There's a tackle. Nogami's on it. Wade through. Mikaton, he had to have been off sides. No, it wasn't, but that's okay. All right, Mensa and Romain both tiring. All right, let's go ahead and see. Let's bring Mensa off for Henson. Actually, hold on. Henson's. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring him on for Mensa. That, this dude has some serious pace. There's Henson's on the field. Flick on header. Parsons controls it. Good ball up into space. Gomez Santos fights it. Good outlet to Henson's. Squared back to Nagami. Oh, cleared out. He took the crack. Big tackle. Goes out for a throw. 
Romaine dragging. We're in the 80th minute. Nagami in some space. Lays it through, but Romaine cannot beat the keeper to the ball. Galloway on the end of that flick on header. And I think that's going to be a foul. Oh my God. Rush is probably going to get a card here, and he does a yellow. And it's going to be a penalty. Martin Zavia lines it up and sends the keeper the wrong way. And that is brutal. Let's demand more. Don't need to watch that. This would be a good time for a counter. Well, it goes out of play. Six minutes left, plus stoppage time. This will be a brutal way to lose this match. All right, Parsons. Drives up into the mid, lumps it up, but Romaine cuts in, finds Henson's, and he cannot pick out the pass. A quick one-two from Horton to Galloway. He's into the attack again. Oh, they are just draining the clock now. Where's our push forward? <laughs> this will drop us to a four-point edge over third position. We've got five minutes of stoppage time. Back to Rollinson. Out to Rush. Good ball out to Romaine. Midfield's controlling the ball there. Wade. Gomez Santos. It's Henson, and Henson scores. If you guys know how to pronounce that, Stijan Henson's fifth goal of the season. And there is the equalizer. I want to go in and look at something on the tactic. I thought maybe I had get stuck in turned on, but I don't. All right, so nothing going on there. I'll be happy with a draw here. I just... All these slide tackles they're doing, I'm not sure what the... Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, tipped over by Rollinson. They'll get the corner. These always make me nervous. It's saved and cleared off the line by Parsons. Oh, that was close. And Rollinson makes a big save off the set piece. Two minutes left. Romaine, he's in. He's into the box. Oh, I thought he had his hat trick right there. That would have been a heck of a way for this game to end. 20 seconds. A oh, good one, two. Henson's on the attack. Can he get a good cross? No, he can't, but it goes out for a corner. Will we get the corner off? Can we get the set piece goal? And it's headed clear, and that's going to be the whistle, hopefully. There are three on two, cleared away, and there's the final whistle. We had to come back three times. I am very happy with the draw in this one. A win would have been great, but unlucky tonight. Unbelievable result in the circumstances. 19 unbeaten. There's our run. 19 unbeaten with some draws in there. Everybody's on 21 with the exception of Nottingham Forest. And who else was... Damn, that's a long table, isn't it? Is it just Nottingham Forest? No. Who was up here? There they are. Lincoln. Lincoln's on 20. So they must play tomorrow. But we are on 50 points, holding that two-point advantage over Everton. Five-point lead over Norwich which is huge right now. Still looking for that automatic promotion. They don't want us to win the league. They just want us to win promotion. So we're looking good for that. Do we have anything? I guess we're going to come back for the FA Cup. Why don't we come back West Ham highlights? And then we'll play Brentford in the FA Cup. And are they in the championship? I don't pay a lot of attention. Nope, they're up in the Premier Division.
And they're just outside Europe qualifying, 23 points from 15. And there's your look at the Premier League if you're wondering who's up there. Ooh, hello. Crystal Palace, a five-point deduction for budget rule violation. And Cardiff, also with a five-point uh, deduction. So Palace not doing too bad with 21 points. 26, they'd be up in Europe. And Cardiff would be on 17, 16. They'd still be in relegation. So they're struggling a little bit. We go over to our competition, just looking at the stat leaders. Romain and Cernan, number two and three behind Galloway on average rating. None of our guys are in the scoring leaders. Lionel from Wolves with 22. Romain and Felix, 14 and 9, lead the assist category. So we're not doing too bad. And we should be getting Cernan back here in short order. Hopefully we can get him up to fitness where he can start performing for us again. So guys, hit that like button if you like what you see, if you like what I'm doing. That's the one way I ask you to support the channel. Subscribe if you are new or if you haven't done it yet. Much appreciated. And don't forget, daily FM content Monday through Saturday. So hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with both of my Football Manager series going on right now. Have a good one. Bye.